Less than 20 years ago, drones moved from being used exclusively by the military to the hands of hobbyists. From filmmaking to climate monitoring, they're tasked with a lot, and now they can help fight crime. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Sharice Gibson. New Orleans police are turning to a new cutting-edge technology in hopes of making our city safer. And they want to hear from you on how to best bring their plan to life. Amelia Strahan explains how you can help shape the future. NOPD is expanding its police force, but not with officers. It'll be our eyes in the skies. If we can't have cameras out there in the blocks, these drones will help. It'll help track people. I think it's a great uh, resource for us. In addition to surveying disasters, reconstructing accidents, and performing searches, NOPD Superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick says drones could help monitor crimes. We can see things quicker that would be more about preventing a crime than following up after the crime has occurred, after someone's been victimized. And if that drone spots a crime happening, NOPD will evaluate the situation and make a plan. One, I'm assuming, would start to follow either the individual, the vehicle, um, that the crime's happening with, um, then from once we get enough intel or warrants on, we'll be able to deploy our officers. The flying technology will do more than add a different point of view. It will also fill gaps in staffing, which currently sits near historic lows. Even though we don't have um, a lot of officers right now, this will supplement uh. us. So far, four pilots are trained to fly these drones, but a lot is still up in the air and the NOPD is asking for your advice. But the important thing is that we're giving community an opportunity to weigh in. As for public opinion, Kirkpatrick says they haven't received much. What's kind of surprising is only one person wanted to so far, but you can't say we didn't offer. Other officers are looking forward to working side by side with the drones. Officer Boone witnessed the benefits firsthand after the collapse of the Hard Rock Hotel in 2019. I was um, here during the Hard Rock and they used the drones for safety reasons because you couldn't get inside the building. And I think it's a great tool and technology for that because it, was, it gave the public, not only the public, but law enforcement the op opportunity to see the area and what was going on inside that building. And the ultimate purpose for the drones is public safety. It's safer for not only the police officer, but safer for the community. In New Orleans, Amelia Strahan, WWL Louisiana. And you can send your ideas and concerns to policy and planning at NOLA.gov. That email address is also in the story on our website. And at 6 p.m. next Tuesday, you can head to NOPD's Training Academy on Paris Avenue to get a first-hand look at these drones.